be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Today's video is also brought to you by the comment section. Let me know what your favorite decks uh, have been this Aquaria season. Just on any of the new stuff. Preferably, preferably just the new stuff. Actually, just make it new stuff. What's up, Planeswalkers? Thirk Six back with some more Match the Gathering Arena. You might be saying, what the hell is up with your hair? The answer to that question is, this is what my hair actually looks like when when I, like, floof it out, right? This is, this is my wild, crazy hair. I have, like, weird, straight, wavy hair. Um, so, usually, once it grows past a certain length, it starts to curl a lot. And I hate it. I've gotten to the point where I'm really, really hating my hair situation. And I just want it to go away. <laughs> Today we're playing Black Friday. I called it Black Friday because on Black Friday, people get trampled. <laughs> this is the trample deck. I think every creature except for... I already turned these fucking card styles off. Why is this back? What the hell? I already turned these fucking card styles off and they're back. Why does Wizards of the Coast hate me? I hate the card styles. They're garbage. They're ugly. I hate them. I don't want them in my game. I don't want to see any from my opponent. I don't want to see them in my decks. They don't look good. Okay. Anyway. We're playing four Pelt Collectors. This is a card that gets bigger over time and gains trample after it's gotten to a certain size. Stone Coil Serpent is a nice reach creature that has, or sorry, a nice trample creature that has reach and is protected from multicolor, which means against some things, I don't know yet, um, it just, it can attack through and it can block well. But mostly what I like this card for is the fact that it's a variable mana cost card. I can fit this in whenever I need to. We have two ram throughs, three ram throughs. Uh, this card is removal, except since most of our, essentially all of our creatures have trample, we get to still deal extra damage, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's an instant as well, which is just nice. Three Voracious Hydra. Also technically removal. That also has trample. Or it can just be large. Very, very large. Three Bone Crusher Giant. It doesn't have trample, but it's, you know, it's decent creature-based removal. Uh, can hit Planeswalkers, can hit face. Really helpful. Also for what it's worth, we don't have a ton of early plays. This is another early play that we can do. It also is another three drop because th three drops I would consider mid plays. Um... But yeah, we don't have that many free drops. Speaking of, uh, we have four Girl Spellbreakers because this is the best girl with Trample. Uh, friggin' three mana, three, three. That either is a four, four with Trample or a Haster with tr Trample. Yeah, uh, she's great. Three, two Gem Racers. I can do basic math. Uh, sometimes we're going to run into situations where opponents have artifacts or enchantments that we don't want. We'll blow them up. Yep, just uh, mutate, blow them up. Also, it's just, you know, four mana, four, four with Trample and Reach. So, uh, not bad. Two Shifting Ceratops. You're playing counter spells? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm going to hit you. Four Proud Wild Bonders. You know, Trample, like, only deals the damage in excess of lethal damage? Yeah, with this, um, instead, we can just say, nah, I'm just going to hit you for a lot. Oh, your creatures get to live? I don't care. I'm just going to hit you for a lot. What's really nice is it includes this one. Two Vivian Archibald Rangers. She's great because she makes our trample creatures bigger for what it's worth she ga she gives trample so like we can give our bone crush giant trample but for the most part she's essentially here just to make our dudes a little bit larger uh and as a means of destroying planeswalkers she's she's additional removal uh and then of course we have the minus five i put a bunch of different things in here as essentially a vivian wishboard i don't expect i'm ever going to use them one Gojira, uh, King of Monsters, a.k.a. Zalortha, but Zalortha doesn't actually exist, and I'm really annoyed that I have to play this card in my deck. Not because it's Godzilla per se, I'm fine with it being Godzilla, I'm kind of fine with him destroying buildings, like, uh, even, like, futuristic, or contemporary, I should say, buildings. It's, it's the aircraft. I don't like the aircraft. <laughs> it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like magic, man. Um, but yeah, we have one of them. It has trampled. That's the main thing. It's other ability shouldn't matter too much in this deck. Uh, if anything, it's a bit of a nerf to Voracious Hydra. Uh, it's a little bit of a boon for Bone Crusher Giant, Shifting Ceratops, and Proud Wild Bunder, but eh. And then, of course, we have Quartzwood Cratcher, like, the main reason I want to play this deck. I absolutely adore this card. Uh, reminds me a lot of Godsire um, from OG Alara, which I will be talking about at some point. 5-6-6 um, six, six, already. Great stats. 
Trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX. Just one, unfortunately. Uh, green dinosaur beast creature token with triple, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. So if we, let's say, um, go, uh, I don't know, turn one, turn two, this is a two, two. Turn three, let's do this. Turn four, let's do this. On turn five, we play this. Deal all the damage to our opponent's face, because we don't care about blockers. Uh, and we just get one really large dino boy. And then next turn, we do it again. And again. And again. Until our opponent is no more. And then, of course, we have Vivian, Monster's Advocate. It's, she's nice because she allows us to continually uh, ca cast spells from the top of our deck, so we don't kind of run out of gas. She also makes creatures that can have trample. For what it's worth, we can also give them reach, just in case. And then the minus two, you know, if we um, have Cor uh, Corsair Crasher, you know, we can cast that, go get a Proud Wild Bonder, and do some damage. So, really helpful. This is our mana base. I think I'm running 23 lands. I'm still running 24 lands. Oh, right, because I have so many fives. Yeah, that's the deck. Uh, I'm just going to play some. I haven't played anything with this at all. We're just going to go to play mode, even though it's probably going to be just as cutthroat. I want to know what you all kind of want to see out of the channel. Um, I have a bunch of those decks. This is one of the decks that I put into Arena. It was like, literally, I made the deck name. I put Crasher in there. And that was like it. And I was like, I want to make a Tramples deck, right? I have a bunch of those in my deck building screen, which I assume many of you have seen. Do you want me to kind of focus on working towards that? Do you want me to um, kind of look more at the competitive decks that are being run right now um, and focus on the other stuff later? Essentially, I just, I'm just i just curious what exactly you would like to see um, in terms of the styles of decks that I'm playing. This is just rude. I can't believe you've done this. You might be asking about why I didn't include a creature here and there. Entirely, it's it's just because... Oh, fuck you. Um, it's just because I wanted to... Um, huh. Awkward. I wanted to have as many creatures with trample innately as possible. Questing beast? Well, that is awkward. Collector might be insufficient. Ow. It's a Hydro. I don't think I can design the deck where I can play Kahira. Oh, we died. Well, I thought I pressed concede, but apparently I didn't. Who would have thought? Slim Shady would be something that you would have bought. Would have made you get a gun and shoot at the cop. I just said it. I didn't know if you do it or not. I find the lack of good twos bad. Should I not go all in? I maybe shouldn't go all in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide to not go all in. Uh, we're going to cut down on that a little bit. We're going to... Cut down on one of those. We're going to go for a two drop. It's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm going to make it green. Probably just the troll. Because the troll is just like a decent card. Or maybe maybe I just play Destiny Spinner main deck. It still like works with this. Yeah. Sure. Maybe, maybe I want... It feels weird putting a freaking Paradise Druid into a deck that's all about punching someone in the face. But if we have if we have a bunch of five drops and four drops, then I really do want to be able to go from two to four. So maybe I should just be playing a playset of Paradise Druids, even though I don't plan on ever really getting in the red zone with them. Although that does make, uh, make four mana Vivians plus one a little bit better. I mean, this isn't terrible. 
going second. Not not the best. But, you know, turn one temple, turn two paradise druid. I can either turn three voracious hydra. Or I could play a, a spellbreaker to keep my paradise druid up. Or I could just play a wild bonder. Eh, some decent things here. I will say, I really do like the world of Ikoria. Um, I feel like some decisions by wizards have, has, some, some decisions have, whatever, uh, kind of tainted my idea of Ikoria. I think it's just because of how, um, how it translates to arena and, you know, the power level standard in general. And my opponent is just chilling, deciding uh, how to keep their hands. So I can have very wild hair, but it's relatively tameable, as you can see. And this is also why you see me brushing it constantly, to keep it in that nice tameable state. Uh, my opponent just... Uh, just being a person, so I guess I'll jump into news. Man, I remember in... Fuck you. <laughs> I remember in the early days of uh, Arena. I'll get that. Um, I, I talked so much about news. The cycling deck. I'm not going to give you a chance. Another one. They missed a land drop. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill it. Because I apparently uh, am the control deck here. <laughs> Regardless, um, we got some new information on Historic, which is super exciting. Um, Jumpstart will be coming to Arena. Um, I think that happens during the summer at some point. Did you get a lands? You did. Congratulations. You got nothing else, though. So, get fucked. Um, let's go with the Proud Wild Bonder. Because it is the most mana efficient. Um. Sure, bro. Oh, am I just gonna get, like, a Xena flared? A bunch, probably. You know this gonna die to Xena flare? Zenith flare? Never mind. Is this any target? Fuck off! Um, alright, so I'm going to play this, play this, make it a 4-4. Four, four. I'm running out of things, Captain. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to Zen. Why? Oh, to draw things like... Okay, that's suspicious as all hell. Gonna just go ahead and attack there, Chief. Don't take it. Good to know. Let's get a good old-fashioned trampler. I love Ikoria. Diversity is our greatest strength. Anyway, Jumpstart's coming. It'll be Historic Legal. Cool, cool. Historic Anthology 3 is coming out May 21st. There's going to be 27 total cards, which is two more than last time. 
fuck off. I feel like my Vivian might die here. I can't help but feel like my, my Vivian might die here. It's incredibly awkward. Um, because I feel like this 3-3 is going to die. And then my Vivian's going to die. Uh, this is bullshit. I cannot believe this is a card. Anyway. Um, it'll be the same price as Anthology 2. 4,000 gems, 25,000 gold in order to unlock a playset of all of the cards. Or you can just craft them like normal. Um, we are going to smork on in. See, now we're the aggressive deck. Okay. And we just play our hand. We just keep some working. Fuck off! I forgot this damn thing cycle. Fucking bastard. Alright, I think we're gonna lose with my opponent at four. Uh, I can get... Bone Crusher Giants, I guess, to deal the last points of damage. Never mind. Darn. Who would have thought? Mono Trample, not the best deck. Um, Amon Cat Masters is apparently confirmed for the summer, which is cool. Um, but the main thing, the main thing is that once we get um, Historic Anthology 3 coming May 21st, we get permanent historic cues. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Historic will be evergreen. It'll be the best format on Arena. Bes besides Brawl. And I guess Brawl does right now have a, a permanent queue. You know, shut up. I don't need your sass. Uh, we turn one. And then probably turn two. <laughs> Why do I keep going second, man? I'm an aggressive deck. I need to hit fools. Yeah, okay, so turn two is going to be this, this. Turn three, I guess, is this, which is not great. So they're playing Aristocrats. There's no world in which I block. You kill my Pellet Collector. <laughs> I find that short-sighted, but rude. I don't want that. What's really sad is this deck would just be better if I just played green-red nonsense. And that, that really does make me sad. I guess I can kill this, or I can target it. No reason to, though. Probably just going to make this bigger. And by bigger, of course, I mean not very large at all. Ooh. is bad. Don't let me build decks. Mm. This is non-token, right? Alright. <sighs> no land. That's great. No, I love it. Cool. Can sack things in response, I guess. It's fine. Technically, the arena videos today are bonus videos. I'm putting this up on the normal arena time uh, because people would be upset with me if I didn't. But today really is meant to be... Wait, would I deal damage? No. <clears throat> um, might I... <clears throat> Goodness me. Might I as well attack? I think so. I'm probably going to take the two. Sh sure. Surprised by that. I didn't see if they scribed to the top or not. I frankly don't care. 
Um, all right, they would have drawn that card if they scribed to the top anyway. Regardless, uh, today's video's today's real video, since it's Wildcard Fridays, is Legends of Runeterra, which will actually be the bonus video because that'll have come out before this at midnight. Yada 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 yada. Oh fuck off! Can I get a land, please? Although I think a land at this point is still insufficient. Pell Collector seems like garbage in a deck where you can't like consistently power it out. So I don't have sufficient two drops. It's only what twenty minutes. I'm gonna rework the deck a little bit more. I'm gonna rework the deck just a little bit more. I definitely see flaws here that I think I can that I think I can fix. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So things were things we're gonna change, and I think this is for the better. Um, we don't we don't need this, right? Also, we don't need this many ram throughs. Um, two two seems fine. We're gonna want a full four paradise druids, um, and then we probably are gonna want a four four a full four bone crusher giant. Gem reserve seems fine. Shifting ceratops still seems fine. Um, honestly, I don't see the point of even having Zlortha if I have these as my five drops. Um, so in that case, I think I want to add probably another two. And let's go for a multicolored card, shall we? So there's Galia versus Zerta. Or potentially Domri's Ambush, actually. But I feel like I would rather just have Dami's Ambush over Ram Through. One drop, two. We still have 24 lands, which I think is reasonable at 3.1. Threes, threes. We've got plenty of fours. Not a ton of twos and threes. So would it be better? I don't have any other satyrs, I don't believe. No, I do not. Um, either way, neither of these are going to have. Just, I think I'm going to go with Zerta Goblin because I can make it larger. Yeah, because I have the option. So those are some slight changes, but I suspect that they're going to be helpful. I don't actually know. Turn one, turn two, potentially turn three. Going second again, not the best, but it's fine. All right, now it's a little bit better because I have like a decent-ish curve. Bant. Bant, you say. I'm just going to try and smoke. Is this Bant Garuda? Garo. So it's not. Oh, it's of course it's not Bant Garuda. There's no Garuda over here, dumbass. It's just Bant Ramp. Yeah, just uh, just straight up Bant Ramp. So I just need to try and murder my opponents as best I can. The issue, of course, being uh, my opponent could just have a uh, what is that? Shadows guy. That card. Finally felt like I Well they missed a land, which is nice. Yeah, I'll keep that. There's a an army in a box. Don't you kill my proud wild bonder. Look how proud he is! Of his of his actual human son. His bestial son. Five mana. Is this gonna get exiled with Elspeth? Bruh! I'm in play mode. Uh, 
Maybe I should have just bone crushed them. I mean, I'd rather not put up. <laughs> I messed up my hair. I'd rather not put out a video where I lose the entire thing. But at the same time, I'm gonna show you how a deck does. And if a deck does does not, that do deck does. I tried to do alliteration, it did not work. I would like to hit you for six, please. That would make me personally feel a lot better. Does not look like it's gonna happen. Okay. So I'm not gonna hit you for six, but I can potentially hit you for trace. So this is still lethal on the board. We got three back. Oh, I guess not. Well, with Vivian, it should be. So they can get their arrow back to gain some life. Sure. So they go up to nine. Oh, yeah. No, this is still lethal. What am I talking about? Right, but it's not with the creature. Right, yeah. But I have Bone Crusher Giant into Vivian next turn. So, as long as my opponent doesn't hit me with another board wipe, I should be okay. What if I Bone Crusher Giants, they go to seven, play Vivian. Yeah, that's insufficient, unfortunately. They have enough to play Uro again. I did forget about that. Cameo. Sure. Green. No, blue, blue, green. Oh, they do have enough to do that. So you get rid of Quartz Wood, Quartz Wood Crasher. I have learned much from my ancestors. I'm gonna get rid of quartz wood. She doesn't give haste, no. Seven, four, I can put them to three. And I can't because of stupid land. It's gotta be them. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. This gets two counters, be five. Only get two damage through. I'm pretty sure I've lost. I should have conceded already. We're fit enough to survive. I mean, they can just play Uro. They have to get rid of which they can because of Temio. And go back to five. So glad my opponent is playing this in free play. <laughs> I'm gonna keep complaining about it. There's no reason that the deck I have here should be going up against this. <laughs> 
Yep, Uro. Go back to five. We have two blockers. You can kill Vivian. Is there anything that I have in the deck that can help me here? I do not believe there's a single card. What am I talking about there? Ah! Alright, well, there technically was a single card. If I top decked Wild Bonder, it, I could have won. I can no longer. Damn it. I had a chance. There was a chance. And then they gained three more. If I top deck Wild Bonder, the sadness is going to be so real. You haven't seen the last of me. Okay, well. Just gonna concede. Like I'm at twenty, but I, I cannot win at this point. They have like they have me locked. <sighs> so glad that uh, that occurred in play mode. I guess I'm gonna play one in ranked. Let's see what happens. I I was fine with the deck, generally speaking. Gonna go in standard ranked. See how that goes, I suppose. Do have two packs. I'll open them in a, uh, <laughs> after this match. Sir Hamster Lot, decent name. Um, it's not the fastest, but I think it's fine. We get to go first finally, which is nice. Play a Stamping Ground. Play a Paradise Druid. And to, honestly, maybe just a Vivian. Rogrin, um So we might be looking at a Cycles deck again. Or it could just be Jeskai Guy Control and the world hates me. Um, but I'm not going to complain about it, uh, about my opponent's deck. Because of the fact that, uh, well, I'm in rank now. What? I say again. What? I mean, I'm just gonna cast it because oh, I can. Love tearing this place to the ground. My my, how you've grown! I got a four-three paradise druid, so that's cool. Next time I can. Well, it's dead. You know what? That's fine. Honestly, whatever. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. It's fine. I have five mana in hands. I put access to. Shut up. You know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Spellbreaker. Don't mind if I do. Gonna haste that shit up. Gonna make my Spellbreaker swole aff. And we're gonna hit on in there. And the next turn, potentially, Corsewood Crasher into getting a 7-7? Seven, seven? If Spellbreaker survives, of course. This has to be on the field, right? It's not the end of turn. Yeah. Opponent has three mana. Oh my gosh, the deck is like performing as it's kind of supposed to. It's Planeswalkers. Who's getting bounced? Is Spellburger getting bounced? Because it has haste. Sure. So that does mess me up a little smidgen. But not all that much, to be honest. We're going to pop you off. Because F off. And we're going to dome you again for a good old-fashioned five. At some point, I can even get something from the graveyard if I want. My, my. How you've grown. Keyword, if I want. I, I love this card. I absolutely love this card. I need to make... Uh, what's the red-green? Is it... It's not... Oh, is it only blue-red-green? Mistake. That was the wrong target, my friend. Oh no, my stuff costs more. Looking for a board wipe? Did you find it? He didn't find it. I take the single win. 
I would have preferred more. I will take the single win. <laughs> and I'll be proud. That's how the deck was supposed to work, so... I'm glad I got to that point. Dude, companions are just everywhere in Magic right now. They permeate essentially every format that they can. Mythos of Brokos. I need to make you... Uh, I'm probably gonna make a Nethroi next. Uh, but yeah, this is so like this is what I was talking about. Like I have these, and I wanted to know if you wanted me to focus on kind of getting through these decks, or if you would rather I you know go to MTG Goldfish, look at recent tournaments. I'm actually gonna do that right now. By the way, I hate MTG Goldfish's new like mobile friendly layout. It pisses me off. Um, you know, I look at the the recent standard leagues. There's a Winota deck, a Team of Reclamation, Obosh Sacrifice, Rakdos Luris, uh, Mono Red Aggro, Salt Diamond Range. Would you like me to weave those more? Uh, or would you just want to see me go through this nonsense? Freaking Giant Tribal, um, a Mutation Focused deck, a Vigilance Focused deck. Uh, we have Humans, Narset Fires, Copy a Thousand, uh, thousand Year Storm a bunch, um, Elementals, Cats, you know, things like that. Um, or do you want me to do those other things, so... Definitely let me know uh, in the comments section. As I said, the comment section today is the uh, <laughs> the secondary sponsor of this video. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zan for continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links to that down in the description below. Uh, I do, of course, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, go and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, cast a comment in the comment section down below, and pass the turn and the bid to some of your friends. And of course, until next time, I'll be one.